Muhammad, in full Abu al-Qasim Muhammad ibn Abd Allah ibn Abd al-Matalib ibn Hashim, born circa 570, Makkah, Arabia, now in Saudi Arabia, died June 8, 632, Medina, the founder of Islam and the proclaimer of the Quran. Muhammad is traditionally said to have been born in 570 in Makkah and to have died in 632 in Medina, where he had been forced to emigrate to with his adherents in 622. Biographical Sources Learn about the life of Muhammad, the founder of Islam. See all videos for this article. The Quran yields little concrete biographical information about the Islamic prophet. It addresses an individual, messenger of God, whom a number of verses called Muhammad, e.g., 3 is to 144, and speaks of a pilgrimage sanctuary that is associated with the Valley of Makkah, and the Kaaba, e.g., 2, 124 to 129, 5 is to 97, 48 is to 24, 25. Certain verses assume that Muhammad and his followers dwell at a settlement called Al Madinah, the town, or Yatrib, e.g., 33 is to 13, 60, after having previously been ousted by their unbelieving foes, presumably from the Meccan sanctuary, e.g., 2 is to 191. Other passages mention military encounters between Muhammad's followers and the unbelievers. These are sometimes linked with place names, such as the passing reference to a victory at a place called Badr at 3 is to 123. However, the text provides no dates for any of the historical events it alludes to, and almost none of the Quranic messengers' contemporaries are mentioned by name, a rare exception is at 33 is to 37. Hence, even if one accepts that the Quranic corpus authentically documents the preaching of Muhammad, taken by itself it simply does not provide sufficient information for even a concise biographical sketch. Most of the biographical information that the Islamic tradition preserves about Muhammad thus occurs outside the Quran, in the so-called Sirah, Arabic, biography, literature. Arguably the single most important work in the genre is Muhammad ibn Ishaq's, died 767-768, Kitab al-Maghazi, Book of, The Prophets, Military Expeditions. However, this work is extant only in later reworkings and abridgments, of which the best known is Abd al-Malik ibn Hisham's, died 833-834, Sirat Muhammad Rasul Allah, Life of Muhammad, The Messenger of God. IBN Ishaq's original book was not his own composition but rather a compilation of autonomous reports about specific events that took place during the life of Muhammad and also prior to it, which IBN Ishaq arranged into what he deemed to be the correct chronological order and to which he added his own comments. Each such report is normally introduced by a list of names tracing it through various intermediaries back to its ultimate source, which in many cases is an eyewitness, for example, the Prophet's wife Aisha. Variants of the material compiled by IBN Ishaq, as well as further material about events in Muhammad's life, are preserved in works by other authors, such as Abd al-Razak, died 827, Al-Waqidi, died 823, IBN Sad, died 845, and Al-Tabari, died 923. The fact that such biographical narratives about Muhammad are encountered only in texts dating from the 8th or 9th century or even later is bound to raise the problem of how confident one can be in the Sirah literature's claim to relay accurate historical information. This is not to suggest that there was necessarily an element of deliberate fabrication at work, at least at the level of a compiler like IBN Ishaq, who was clearly not inventing stories from scratch. Nonetheless, some accretion of popular legend around a figure as seminal as Muhammad would be entirely expected. At least to historians who are reluctant to admit reports of divine intervention, the problem is reinforced by the miraculous elements of some of the material included in IBN Ishaq's work. Moreover, some of the narratives in question are patently adaptations of biblical motifs designed to present Muhammad as equal or superior to earlier prophetic figures such as Moses and Jesus. For example, before Muhammad's emigration to Medina he is said to have received an oath of allegiance by 12 inhabitants of the city, an obvious parallel to the 12 apostles, and during the digging of a defensive trench around Medina Muhammad is said to have miraculously sated all the workers from a handful of dates, recalling Jesus' feeding of the multitude. Finally, it is distinctly possible that some reports about events in Muhammad's life emerged not from historical memory but from exegetical speculation about the historical context of particular verses of the Quran.